Hey everybody, good morning to you. I'm at the Kinley Hotel in Chattanooga, Tennessee this morning at the Exchange, which is like a coffee shop breakfast spot inside the Kinley Hotel. And uh, just uh, had a good night's rest. Hope you folks are doing great on this Wednesday. Hey, midweek service tonight at Byrouge at the Pentecostal Church, First Pentecostal Church of Byrouge, having church tonight for sure. Byron Reeves is bringing the word tonight. It's gonna be a great, great time, I am sure. Uh, he always has something wonderful to say. Appreciate him. Uh, stepping in, kind of giving us a, a few days to uh, kind of step back and, and do a few things and do a little relaxing. Uh, heading home though soon. But in the meantime, we're here at the coffee shop inside the Kinley Hotel. Thanks uh, for the arrangements of our, our guru, terrible host, advisor, friend. Uh, the list goes on and on. Tawana Helms, her husband, Jerry Todd Helms, uh, she made uh, this arrangement for us. And uh, we appreciate that so very much. It's a cool hotel. It's an old building. Um, downtown Chattanooga and uh, it has um, it's, it's very um, what's the word it's what's the word well it just it's, it's remodeled that's not even the right word it's reconditioned it's awesome it's a cool place I hey, hope you're having a great Wednesday it's middle of the week it's hump day and I was thinking this morning uh, that I used to be can I just say as a kid growing up I hated to go to Walmart. I hated to get outside. I was very antisocial. I'm just being really transparent this morning. Must be the must be the coffee. <laughs> I was really antisocial as a youngster to the point where I was very shy. Uh, every other word I stumbled over. Um, I, was, I was embarrassed to be out and about among people. I'm serious. I, I was raised up in the hills of Arkansas, and so can I just say God's helped me tremendously. Uh, he's brought me a long way. I have a long way yet to go, but, but for those people out there today um, that maybe you don't feel like that you deserve uh, anything good, that you don't feel like that uh, you're worth anything, I, I refute that today because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. God loves you. You're not a mistake. And along the way, I have had some wonderful people that helped me, encouraged me, opened doors for me, was kind to me, encouraged me. Did I mention that already? Yes. Listen, listen, one of the greatest things you can do is encourage someone. Encourage someone. Show kindness to someone. Uh, hey, we're all, we all have potential. Now, we have different levels of potential, but we all have potential. And you just got to believe, especially when you link up with God, anything is possible. And that He does have a plan for your life. And along the way, He'll put people in your life that bless you and encourage you and uh, open doors for you. So, so just relax in God, trust God, live for God, and he's going to make a way, even where there seems to be no way. He'll take your personality, he'll take even your faults and your weaknesses, and he'll use all that, and he'll mold you, and he'll make you, and he'll bless you, and he'll grow you. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime of growing. It's a lifetime of keeping on, keeping on. Hey, just want to get on here and just wanted to get on here this Wednesday and say, be encouraged today. Be encouraged. And look, look, look in the mirror, smile at yourself and say, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. God bless you. Appreciate you watching Coffee with a Pastor. And uh, thank you also for liking and sharing and commenting on Coffee with a Pastor every day. God bless.